Sorvino is reflecting on her award-winning performance in Woody Allen's 1995 film Mighty Aphrodite. The actress, 54, who earned an Academy Award and a Golden Globe for the movie, said on the Thursday episode of Mark Maron's WTF podcast that the experience has tainted her early career. It's so hard to talk about it now because I now have a very different opinion of Woody than I did then. And I blame myself for not investigating further into what happened with Dylan, Pharaoh, she said, referring to the abuse Pharaoh allegedly suffered by her adoptive father. It really, in a certain way, ruins mighty Aphrodite for me, ruins my Oscar performance, ruins that start of my career, because I treasured it for years and then it's like, I should have denounced him and I should have known it then. Sorvino continued. I didn't know it then but I didn't look deep enough to actually educate myself to really make an educated opinion at the time. It's not an excuse, I should have. Just because he was as brilliant as he was called, just because I grew up reading his books and performing his plays in my high school and just idolizing him, doesn't mean has not a terrible person who hurt his daughter who hurt a child, and there is no forgiveness for that. Sorvino, who came forward with allegations of sexual misconduct against Harvey Weinstein, explained that the film was also when the producer took an interest in her. It really taints it. And it's so crazy that so much of much of my early career is tainted by Alan and by Harvey Weinstein, Sorvino said. It's sort of breathtaking. Sorvino added that she has since become friends with Alan's daughter Dylan after she penned her an open letter in 2018, committing to never work with the director again. She's an amazing person, and I have no doubt in my mind that she is telling the truth, Sorvino said on the podcast. Dylan, 36, claimed that Alan, 86, molested her when she was 7. Alan has long denied the allegations, which first surfaced during his explosive 1992 split from Mia, 77. Alan was not charged, though a Connecticut prosecutor said there was probable cause for a criminal case. In 2014, Dylan detailed her allegations in a New York Times op-ed. Sorvino, who also worked with Weinstein, 69, on Blue in the Face, 1995, Beautiful Girls, 1996, and Mimic, 1997, was among the first women to accuse Weinstein of sexual harassment in 2017 and several directors have since admitted to blacklisting her at Weinstein's request. Weinstein was found guilty on charges of first-degree criminal sexual act and third-degree rape in 2020 and sentenced to 23 years in prison.